I'm sure all of us understand the concept of a workbench. No matter what project you may be doing, a good workbench will have all of your tools within easy reach. AutoCAD allows us to do the same thing with our interface. By setting up a workspace, we can have all of the relevant tools available to accommodate whatever type of work we may be doing. Now, a workspace is a saved configuration of interface elements. Generally speaking, you can set up the screen however you like, and then you can save that as a workspace such that you can restore it again in the future. Now, we really haven't made many changes to the current workspace. I'm going to make one more just so it looks a little bit more different, and then we'll save it. I'm going to bring up another palette. I'm going to come up to my View tab and click, and I'm going to move over and select the Design Center palette. We can use this palette to extract elements from existing drawings. We'll be using this palette a little bit later in the title, so I'm going to anchor this guy to the left side of my screen. To do that, I'm going to place my cursor over the mast, right-click, and select Anchor Left. Now I have my interface set up in the way in which I like to work, so I'm going to save this as a workspace. To do that, I'm going to come down and click this gear, and I'm going to select Save Current As from the menu. And I'm going to call this workspace Jeff's 2D Workspace. And I'll click Save. Think of it this way. Workspaces can be created for specific types of work. When I'm doing 3D drafting, I'm obviously going to need different tools than when I'm doing 2D drafting. And maybe if I'm working on dimensions, I'm going to need another set of tools. We can set up the screen for each type of work that we do, and then we can save that as a workspace, such that the next time we do that type of work, we can quickly restore the workspace and have all of our available tools. Now AutoCAD gives us some default workspaces. Let's load the 3D modeling workspace. To do that, I'm gonna come down and click the gear, and in the menu, up at the top half, I can see all of the available workspaces. I'm going to select 3D Modeling. As you can see, this workspace is set up for three-dimensional drafting. I'm going to come back down and restore my custom workspace. Once again, I'm going to click the gear. I'm going to select Jeff's 2D workspace to restore it to my screen. By setting up custom workspaces, you can always have your tools within easy reach, no matter what you may be drafting.